And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And we're going to do the top 10 best heroes for the month of July 2017. I want to thank everyone for last month's video. I got so many likes on that. I really do appreciate it. Also, later in the video, we're going to talk about the territory battles with the two new characters that are coming. Commander Luke and the three new Ewoks. But let's just jump right into the top 10 heroes for the month of July. And first things first, let's talk about Rex. Rex is absolutely by far the most dominant leader in this game right now. My number two pick could be Darth Maul, Wedge, Qui-Gon Jinn, or even Darth Vader. But by far, Rex is the most dominant leader in the game. And it's because it's all about speed, speed, speed. And look at how this reads right here. In addition, whenever an ally suffers a critical hit, all clone allies gain 15% turn meter and all other allies gain half that amount. So if someone comes in with AOE and crits every single person on the team, you could be getting up to 37% turn meter on all of your characters. It's insane. And also, as far as characters on this list, this is one of the easiest characters to farm. He is farmable in the guild store. And you can use your guild coins because he often will show up right here. He's one of the easier characters to farm that is on this list. Now we'll go down to the usual suspects. Nihilus is amazing. He is the most used character right now. He is definitely one of the best. This guy is almost impossible to farm. It is going to take me six months just to take him from five stars to seven stars because he only is available in 9-A, which is not an easy node. And typically I'm only getting one a day. I got 49 out of 100, so it's gonna take me another month, month and a half just to get him halfway through six stars to seven stars. This guy is insanely good. He can dispel on basic attacks. His drain force is a better version of ability block because it increases cooldown and that also bypasses any tenacity buff. And then of course the annihilate ability, one shot kill can't beat that it is over the top good this guy is a no-brainer i think he's showing up on almost every team next one on the list is kenobi now general kenobi is only available from farming in the aat tank raid through your guild so you have to be in a guild where you can get the shards from him now he's playable at five stars immediately when he's unlocked if you don't have a guild that is doing heroic aat tank raid there's a link in the description. You can send an email to 4G Inverted Dive, and he might be able to help you to place you in a guild. General Kenobi is amazing. He's a cleanser. He can give everybody retribution. He's a tank. He taunts. He gets foresight. He is really, really good. Next on the list are the two that I think are the most two broken in the game, and I'm just going to pair them together. That is Baze Malbus and Chirrut Imwe, or if you will, I call them Chase. These guys are nearly impossible to farm. I'm thinking about making a t-shirt saying any three plus Chays for the win because that just seems to be the way it is right now. They're so good on defense. They work very, very, very well. They're nearly impossible to farm. M-Way you can get in fleet shipments and bays you can do the same thing like Nihilus where you can get like one shard today. That'll take like a year to get him. So that is very frustrating. Those heroes right there, Darth Nihilus, General Kenobi, Rex, Baze, and Shirut are just the most dominant heroes in the game. They have been for several months now. Now we're going to talk about some of the other ones, which I think are very good, and they're also up and coming. R2-D2, he's available in the special events, so you have to wait until that comes around. Very, very good. He makes almost all light side characters a lot better. I'm currently trying to gear him up to 11. That is taking some time, but he is who I am focusing on right now, as well as Thrawn. And Thrawn is also acquired in the same way. He's in those special events that only happen like once every six months. Very hard to unlock because he required the Phoenix characters. And a lot of people are upset because they did not have the Phoenix characters. And I'm also trying to get him up to gear 11. The general rule with this guy is that he's amazing. He's an Empire character that can dispel debuffs. He does all kinds of funny things. His ket is very complicated. They're very long, very complicated to explain 
Look at all those words. He's really good on offense, but the computer doesn't always play him well on defense. So we will see. Next one is Kylo Ren. He's also fairly easy to farm on this list. Most of these characters are actually really hard to get, but Kylo unstoppable. It is amazing. And for the longest time, people were using him in the first round of the AAT tank raid because he did very well in there. Recently, there was a bug fix, so that is not working as well as it did in the past. But he's amazing. I use him on my squad arena team, and he's just amazing. He can stun. He can get back protection. He applies negative status effects. He is very good. Last one on this list, but not least, is Emperor Palpatine. Again, another character that only can be acquired in those special events that happen very infrequently. He is kind of falling out of favor. Usually he's paired with either Thrawn or Darth Maul in a team. He can stun almost the entire team with his power of the dark side ability. This is just an amazing ability, probably one of the best special attacks in the entire game. And then for the 10th slot, like I said, it's all of those other leaders that are not being used as much as Rex, and that would be Maul, Wedge, Qui-Gon, and Darth Vader, kind of rounding up the 10th slot. I do want to just talk about some of the game updates, and I'll probably go into this in detail in a future video. There are a bunch of new Ewoks out. Papaloo and Lagre are already in the game files. I'll probably have to make a video entirely about that. There is a new mod set pack. I will not be buying that. Gar Saxon and Imperial Super Commander are now farmable. In addition, they changed a bunch of the environments, so we have a bunch of new battle screens to fight on. The military assault battle looks like they're going to have lots of really good new rewards. And then also, I wanted to point out on a post by the developers that there is going to be Hothon and Hothleia as rewards in the new guild co-option territory battles. Also, as everybody knows, Luke Skywalker is coming to the game. And in another post, they mentioned that the farm boy Luke will be needed to get the Commander Luke Skywalker in some sort of event. Don't know what that's going to be. It's not really clear, but it kind of is implying that you're going to have to use the farm boy Luke to get Commander Skywalker. And they're also implying here in this post that there are going to be more Skywalkers. It's going to be like a hero's journey from farm boy to rebel hero. And then who knows what will come after that, whether there'll be like a Return of the Jedi Luke or maybe even the Luke that is in the current movie, like a Grandmaster Luke. We will see. Just wanted to send a shout out to all of my Patreons. I really, really do appreciate that. And if you like this video today, you're in luck. For every single person that likes this video, you will get an eight star Return of the Jedi Luke put into your account within 24 hours. This is not a scam. All jokes aside, I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting in the last couple of videos. Really appreciate all the likes and all the comments that we've been getting. Be on the lookout in the next couple of days for a full review of all the Ewoks. It looks like two of them have made it into the game. Currently, we're still waiting for a kit on Wicket, but it looks like we do have a kick on Lagre and Peplu. So there will be a video about those kits in a separate video. And like I said, thank you so much for the support. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.